Hello friends, now let's solve the longest increasing parts in a matrix problem. Let's first see the statement. Given an integer matrix, find the length of the longest increasing parts. From each cell, you can either move to four directions, left, right, up, and down. You may not move diagonally or move outside of the boundary. Web around is not allowed. Let's see this example one. The numbers is... Uh, like this. The longest part is from this one and go left and go up. So it's four. And uh, this example we go from this three and then we go right and to down. So this is four. So how to think about this problem? You see if we are at this two, we know the longest part is this part, so it's three. And then we go to this one, we do not have to uh, search this again, we just know this uh, its neighbor 2 has the longest uh, part to 3, so we just add 3 to this one, we get 4. So the core idea is to use an um, extra 2D array, DP, to save the, the result, to catch the result. Every time we just need to check that, uh, that DP value equal to 0, we do the search thing. If not zero, uh, we uh, we just skip it. Another thing we need to pay attention to is that when we do the search, uh, like we are at this four, we can go down. This is uh, uh, length two, and we go to left. This is length two, which means we can just uh, choose one out of these four directions to plus one. Uh, we cannot add all these four directions, which means every time we can only choose one direction. This is nothing to pay attention to. So let's start. <clears throat> First, as you can check, is the matrix equal to no or matrix or less equal to zero, or just return zero. And then get the rows equal to matrix dot length and the columns equal to the matrix there dot length. We use the DP array. So the size of DP array is rows, columns. Iterate this DP array. I plus plus for int j equal to zero. j less than columns. j plus plus. So if the current dpij equal to 0, which means we haven't um, handled it. We, uh, we search, but we also need a result. At first, it is just equal to 0. Uh, if it equal to 0, we do the DFS thing, and we compare the current uh, dp value and the result. And then we'll try to get to the larger and the final will just return this result. Now let's implement this DFS function. So why do we need to return the value? Because as I said before, we can only choose one direction to plus one. So we need uh, this to return a value and we compare these four directions value. That's the reason. And the first parameter is the matrix and the row and the colon index, and this uh, dp array. Also, we need to compare current value and the previous value. So we use the previous value. So the, as usual, the first we need to check if this index are valid. So if the row less than zero or row greater than matrix dot length minus one or colon less than zero or colon greater than matrix zero dot length minus one or the current value is less or equal than previous value we just return zero the path is zero uh, another thing is if the current dp uh, value not equal to zero which means we have already calculated before so we just return this uh, value and then we will try to get the four directions uh, max uh, parts matrix um, 
row plus one colon left. Uh, if we go to the left, then the row stay the same at column minus one. And the previous value will change to the matrix row column value. And I missed this DP. Mm, this will be DP. Okay, so the right value, uh, the right longest part will be matrix row column plus one DP matrix row column. And the up will be DFS matrix row minus one column DP and matrix row column. And the down will be DFS matrix row, sorry, matrix, ah, uh, matrix row plus one column, DP matrix row column. And we compare these uh, four things. So we uh, let the DP, I think I can write another function just to get uh, max. And we will pass uh, A, B, C. Um, basically, it's the same. Okay. So I just uh, simply write like this uh, max the left and the mass use right and uh, get the max of down and up. So we get the max of this four value and we plus one. Finally, because even if all, all its four directions are less than it, uh, the longest part should be one. So it's uh, correct. Row, colon. So let's fill this place, matrix i, j, d, p. Previous thing, because uh, as I said, it at least uh, have one. So. At first, I initialize the proof equal to the minimum value. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.